Tell us about what the court ruled in terms of redistricting. Well, what it said was that uh, a plan in Arizona that was a citizen-initiated uh, constitutional amendment, which set up a redistricting panel that was not controlled by the legislature, but that was controlled by appointees, was constitutional. It was all right to take that part of the district drawing process completely out of the hands of the legislative branch and put it in, under the control of an independent authority, which was not directly accountable to voters. And this is that was the issue uh, at, at, at question, was whether or not it was okay to take what has always been a legislative function completely away from the legislature and into the hands of an independent commission. Does the ruling affect only Arizona, or does it have implications for other states, including North Carolina? Well, it actually what it does is it has implications for any state that is thinking about setting up a similar sort of situation. Now, North Carolina has a, has a proposal out there that is supported by, among other organizations, the John Locke Foundation, and it does have bipartisan support from former Charlotte Mayor Richard Venroot and former Raleigh Mayor, Mayor Charles Meeker. It also has the support of the House Speaker Pro Tem, Skip Stam from Wake County, but the Senate is the impediment right there. So what is that proposal all about? What the proposal would do is it would basically set up a, an independent commission which uh, would be comprised of legislative staff that would draw districts for uh, the General Assembly and also for Congress, and those districts would have to abide by certain rules and principles, mainly dealing with compactness.